Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm taking you on a trip because I'm going to visit my brother Ron in Virginia and he's going to share with me and you his recipe for brisato de manza, which is beef braised in red wine. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. Okay, so what are we making today? Today we're gonna make like a basic stew. It's called Brasato di Manzo in Italian. And we've got two pounds of stew meat. We've got four large carrots. We've got three large cloves of garlic and about a pound and a half of baby Yukon gold potatoes. And then our seasonings and stuff, right? And we have some wine, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna use a whole bottle of red wine. Yep. We're gonna about a uh, tablespoon of tomato paste. Yep. About a quarter cup to half a cup of bone broth. Right. Then we have salt, pepper, and we have some thyme and some rosemary. Right, okay, so we'll show all that when we, we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool, so let's get started. Let's do it. Um, so we're gonna chop up the carrot. Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave it rustic, so big chunks. As soon as he knows I'm working the carrots, it's all Oh, he loves carrots? Yeah. There's Indy, uh, waiting on a carrot. <laughs> Right. Okay, so that's a carrot. Right? Let's get those out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy's like, I want some carrot. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Put it over there? Okay. Well, bye. So you like to use real garlic. Not that it's not real garlic, but I usually buy the already like cut, you know, I, yeah, like cleaned. I, yeah. I, I like to do that too, but. I don't mind uh, I just, it myself. I just don't find the quality to be as good as like when you peel it yourself, right. but I you know. I don't think it's a good, yeah, don't use the jar stuff. <laughs> that stuff that's already in the juice, it's not good. Oh yeah, the already minced, oh, yeah. yeah. It's not good. Okay. Cool, and we're just gonna leave them like that too. We're not gonna even chop that up. Oh, you're not? Nope. Okay. I'm cook in. Okay, now we're getting to the potatoes. And you don't even have to peel those, right? Nope, don't peel them. So it's nice and simple? Nice and easy, everything in one pot. Yep. Done. Just gonna slice them in half so we uh, can chew them. Oops, I don't know if I wanna quarter this in, I might. You'll quarter them, some of them, or yeah, all of them? Maybe, I don't know. It might be a little too big. Okay, so we've, gone ahead and quartered them because having them they were still a little too big yep. okay. yeah the small ones you Wait don't have to cut right might as well just get them out the way okay. could have used the bigger bowl but what are you going to do that's all right no <laughs> i do that all the time <laughs> all right okay i'm ready for the meat okay now we're gonna season the meat. Salt and pepper. Okay. Coming up. Let me just wash my hands real quick. Yep. So now what do we just salt to taste? Like what your preference is, how much? I would say just lightly salted. Right. You don't have to even do both sides, just spread it out, cover it. Going in the flour. Okay. So all-purpose flour? All-purpose just... flour. Okay. We're gonna just gonna coat it? Yep, I'm gonna throw it in there and shake it around. Okay. And what's that do, actually? Well, it's gonna help it brown, and later on it'll help thicken the sauce. Oh, okay, yeah, good. What do you have, like a half a cup of flour in there? Oh, uh, like a quarter cup. Quarter cup, okay. You know, it depends on how much meat you have, but I would say quarter cup if you have to go half a cup. Right. There you go. Make sure that's closed. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to. <laughs> I've done that before. Shake it like a yeah. picture. <laughs> and when we're done with this, we'll shake off the excess. Right, you just want to coat it, yeah, right? Yeah, you just want a coating, so. You don't want clumps can, of flour, right. right. Okay. So if you do get that, just bang it out. Yep. Let's see what we got. 
Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see. So Let see. it should look like that. See, okay, yeah, no nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice even coating. Okay, perfect. That's it. On to the next step. We're going to fry this up. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. See, enough to coat the bottom at least. Okay. All right, so we're okay. going to get that pan really hot. So, like, really hot. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. once like the oil starts to thin out in the pan and yeah. move nice and easy, it's yeah. it's hot enough, right? Good. Yeah, we're, we're just about ready here. So let's go ahead and grab the top of the hot peppers. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands with this. Yeah, we need too long. Alright. We're just gonna let that sit so it gets a good color on it. Okay. You don't wanna move it around minutes. too much. Yeah, right. I would say about a minute and a half each side. I'm gonna make sure all this is touching the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Sides brown, we're gonna overcook it, but right, you don't want to cook it. Right, we it. just want to get that crust on there. Okay, so this is nice brown enough. Yeah, this is about where you want to be right now. You don't want to cook it fully through, but you want to have a nice crust on least both sides. And we're gonna move in and drown it in some wine. Yeah, red wine. You can use whatever you want. Right. We have uh, Cabernet right now, and we're gonna do the entire bottle. Oh yeah. So we're gonna move in with the veggies now and just cover everything. Okay. Spread it out. In fact, we're just gonna take this entire thing and and then we want to. I would say about a half a cup of broth, but pretty much until you cover it. Just cover all the vegetables and yeah, everything. Well, for the most part, you want to make sure the meat's covered most of all. We'll probably have some veggies pop up at the top here. Yeah. So there you go. We'll go ahead and give this a whirl and make sure everything's in there. And we're gonna go in with, say a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. Yeah. Or maybe just a little bit more, cause I really like it. Yeah, it gives it a good foundation, like a good That's base. Really, really nice. okay, and then we're gonna go in with salt and pepper. I would say going around the pot a couple of times is fine. We're gonna have to come back and reseason later. Right. We'll come back and hit it with a little bit of rosemary. Okay. Not too much. Okay. Just a little bit. That looks like maybe a quarter, quarter teaspoon. teaspoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with the thyme. You don't want to overdo it. So okay. maybe Let's another see. quarter teaspoon. About that much. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's pretty much it. What we're going to do is cover it and bring it to a boil, and we're gonna leave it completely covered for one hour. Okay, not, not even touch don't it? Don't touch it, don't even look at it. Okay. Just leave it alone, so. And what's the uh, setting at on the As stove? soon as it comes to the boil, it's going to the lowest setting you have. Okay. Or maybe just above that. And then it sits for the hour. Right. Gotcha, okay, cool. So we got a boil going. We're gonna take this off and give it one final stir. Make sure everything's incorporated. Oh yeah. And then it's looking good already. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna cover that up completely, turn it to low, and let it sit for an hour. Don't touch it, don't look at it. All right, perfect. Okay, so it's been an hour, and we're gonna take the top off. We're not gonna stir it. We're just gonna let it breathe a little bit so it can start to evaporate and cook down. Okay. Let's see what it looks like right yeah. now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Two and a half hour mark, we're gonna stir it. We've got a half hour left, so we're gonna cover it like we have. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna make the grits now. And you can also use polenta if you have polenta. We've got one cup of grits. It's gonna be two cups of milk and two cups of water. So you're gonna bring it to the boil, add in the grits, stir it. And then when it's just about done, you're gonna take a handful, maybe a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, stir it in and whisk it until it's finished. Let's get this going. Say about a tablespoon of salt. So with a minute left, we're gonna do anywhere from a quarter cup to half a cup of cheese. It's kind of what you prefer. Yeah. And, and, start and with a quarter cup. Quarter, start with a quarter cup? Yeah. Then. What kind of cheese is that? It's Parmesan. It's grated Parmesan. Okay. So Parmesan grits. That's it. Alright. Okay, so our grits are like done? Just about done. Just about done. And there's a stew. Okay. Perfect. Let's plate up. Okay, let's see the stew. Can you see that? Beautiful. Making a plate, Em? Mm-hmm. It is, right? Yeah. Going to get the stew. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you try and enjoy the recipe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share with your family and friends because it helps the channel grow. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always, guys, until next time, bye.